welcome to the second part of our quiz series in our X Five Seven iOS Nine Swift course. In this video, we're gonna be finish finishing up the quiz. So to get started, we're gonna open up the quiz that we have right now, and um, I will. In case zero, we're gonna put question. Dot text equals um nine plus ten equals and um here we're gonna say answer one dot set title and the title will be dummy one <laughs> dot normal and um we're gonna copy this and paste it four times this is gonna be two this is gonna be three and this is going to be four we are going to copy this and paste it into each one of these Now we are going to change this to like 19, 0, and 1. Just make up random answers, but you have to have one that's correct. And this is going to be what is the first or the um, current. And we're going to put in 2015 because at the time of recording, it, this was 2015. Um, president. And this will be Brock. I can't spell. Obama. This will be uh, George. Washington, Washington, this will be, um, uh, let's see, I'll just do Ronald Reagan, And then this will be none of the above. This one will be 21 times 12 equals. And um, I feel like calculating it because um, I'm not Chrome. I'll just search Cal. Calculator and I'm gonna do twenty twenty one times twelve that's two hundred fifty two. Go back to Xcode and we're going to put 250 here, 150 here, 252 here, and this will be uh, 100. 9 plus 10. <laughs> this will be. Um, uh, 10 minus 9 equals 1, 2, 3, or 4. And then this will be, um, we'll, we'll do division here, because we didn't do division yet. So this will be, uh, 215 divided by 5 equals, and I'll calculate that in my head.
that is 43, okay? And, no, we'll just save that for later. 40. This will be um, 25, 20. This will be 42, or 43. This will be none of the above. And now we are done with this part. We don't have to touch it anymore because we do not need it. And um, we are going to say an answer one press if um, question number equals zero. Then we are going to if um, nine plus ten is equal to twenty one. So we're going to say correct or incorrect dot text equals incorrect and then next question dot hidden equals uh, false also in vvid load we're gonna say next question dot set um, or next question dot hidden equals not a uh, true and uh, correct or incorrect dot text equals that and then we are going to go down and um we're going to say else if question number equals one then um correct or incorrect dot text will say um, let's look up here and uh, that is correct so we're going to say correct and then we are going to copy this and paste it a few times zero one two three four let's change these And then we'll go down and we will look up as you see um let's um co copy this all of this and we will paste it in fact in here and here and here Here we are going to, we'll edit them right now. And if you see case two, number three is correct. So that is, um, the rest will be incorrect. So if you look up here and um, case two, all of them are incorrect except for answer three press. So let's change that. And this will be incorrect. Let's just change this. This will also be incorrect. And let's look for case four. And which one is correct? 43. So 43 is answer number three. Again, so. This will be incorrect. This will be in, oh, this will be correct. This is incorrect. And this is also incorrect. Now we are going to go, let's look at case one. We already have that. Um, and case zero, nine plus 10 is 21. Case, which one is correct for case three? It's this one. And um, 
We also have to create an action for the um, next question. And I'm gonna spell it wrong on purpose because um, we don't want it to be the same as the uh, um, as the outlet. And here we're just gonna call due to the load. And then you can go back to main that storyboard, and we will link these up. This up too. Next question. And then we will add missing constraints. So select one of these, put it to triangle, and hit add missing constraints. Now let's run, because we can. Nine plus 10, 19, incorrect. Okay, um, that is one bug we have to fix. If we go back to 19, Enter two. This has to be correct. And let's check number. Let's check the rest. Yep, good to go. And let's try it again. And if we have more errors, we can. It's a good thing that we can do testing. Correct. Next question doesn't show up. So to copy this, paste it into each one of these. Let's copy it all in. Here too. And, here too. and then it should work. 21 times 12, 252. Uh, Barack Obama. Okay. Barack Obama. Sure. Let's check for any. Then we can run. One. Twenty one. <laughs> Forty three. Twenty. Forty. None of the above. Zero. One. Nineteen. Twenty one. Two. Okay. There's one bug we have to fix. Answer two, case three. Answer two, three, and four. Let's change this to incorrect. This will also have to be incorrect. This will also have to be incorrect. Just the first one is incorrect, or correct. Barack Obama. George Washington. Okay. There's another bug. If you look at that, that is answer two and three and four. Case one. Incorrect. 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 And let's just check over again. So number two. Yep, and yep. Let's run. Let's hope this is good. 40 incorrect, 20 incorrect, none of the above incorrect. 43 correct. We get that question again. Uh okay. 252. Uh, 40, 253. Let's just um, wait until we can get another question. 
Okay, Barack Obama, George Washington, Ronald Reagan, none of the above. And okay, so this app is another success. And in the next video, we are going to um learn how to fix another error that's called Thread One EXE Bad Instruction, which it has um relation to nil and optional. So guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you see it in my ninth video, which is a Thread One EXE Bad Instruction thing. So bye-bye, and be sure to subscribe to Jeffrey App.